Hello, 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 everybody. It is already time for our second memory for the Season of Shattering. Today we can find the Hard Shard event in the Broken Bridge area of the Hidden Forest, but if you're watching this on a different day, it will be somewhere else. I will always share the Shard events in my daily quest videos if you need to find them. This one is super easy to relive. There's actually no Shard Crabs. There are some regular crabs. The main difficulty is the rain, which you can also turn off just by finishing the end of the broken bridge. That should stop the rain in this area, but me, I'm a madman. You know me. I don't even care about my, my wing of light, so we're just gonna go uh, in through it and uh, try and survive. I thought this person died, but I guess they did not. I'm glad. So yes, all we have to do is first, of course, accept the second quest from the quest giver in the home space. And then we have to find a hard shard event to continue the quest. So a hard event will always be located by the red shards that you see, these giant red shards. This means that it is a hard event. An easy event will have like dark or black bluish shards. So it is pretty easy to tell the difference between the two. And thankfully, this one seems to be one of the easiest of the shard events. So all we have to do is burn most of the darkness, and then we have to collect some light. Sometimes that is in the form of light creatures, such as manta or crabs. For this one, we actually have to collect these little patches of light, which are hidden under darkness, which is some of the hardest way to collect the light. But in this area, it's quite easy. So with the help of these people, we will burn the rest of the darkness, and then we will f uh, view the second memory. So once we view this cutscene here, um, we are now in the second phase of the shard event. All we have to do is sit down and we will have to collect some light creatures or like I said, this one is just patches of light. The easy events will not have the second phase to them. You just have to burn darkness and you are done. But these ones are a little bit trickier. So as you can see, some of the crabs have revived. They are standing up. So you might have to call again to uh, knock them over. But all we have to do is burn these little darkness patches and collect the light. Pretty easy, honestly, for this one. Sometimes it's much harder. Sometimes it's easy when it's like a manta or a jelly you have to collect as well. I find these patches of darkness can be the hardest ones. But yeah, this one's pretty simple. Oh, they have the krill horn. Wow. So just four of these to collect here as well, which makes it super easy. Got this one, and they've got the other one over there. And we are done. Once we've collected all of the light, the shard event is now over. That means that all of the crabs and the big shard should disappear. Hello, little crab memory. We'll see a little memory, it'll disappear, and then the Shattering Quest Giver should arrive. You may have to wait a little longer, sometimes you have to wait like 30 seconds, but it shouldn't normally be that long. We're just going to talk to them and go to the new area. So just speak to them and we can teleport to see our next memory. Now this is the second memory, the first one was the Haunting Jellyfish, is what I called it the first time. This one is a little crab troop with some of these new flying darkness plants in the sky. We can also get, of course, our heart for completing the quest. And at the very, very top, you might be able to spot a winged light. Pretty high up. Um, I embarrassingly just went through Eden, so I don't really have a lot of flight. I haven't done a whole winged light run yet, so I might have to do a recharge potion. And this wing of light is actually pretty high, like you would have to have at least, at least probably seven or eight flaps to get to it. Of course, you could also bring a prop to charge you midway. I just don't have one on me, so um, I am looking for an instant recharge potion. First time I've used one of these in a really long time. Wow. Yay. And here we have our wing of light. 
So this is our first Wing and Light out of approximately four for this season. There are three in the live version right now, but they are testing the final area, which will have one more in the beta, if it does go through. There's no promises, but potentially we will have four Winged Light in the Season of Shattering, which is pretty good. Not too bad. Now, if you want to come back and find these Winged Light, you are going to have a bit of troubles. I think it's going to be easier to come back once the season has ended. But during the season, if we're on the second quest, we can only visit the second quest memory. So it's a bit complicated. We'll have to see later on when the season ends. I'm sure TGC will fix it a bit. But yeah, that is the second memory. The Crab Troop. All right. Thank you all so much, as always, for watching. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you enjoyed. And of course, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.